Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel and my review of this knife. This is the MFT by Martini of Finland. It is a hunting knife, could also be used as a general purpose outdoor knife, a camp knife, a butcher knife, or a field butchering knife. Here is the knife in hand. Now this knife was around $32 on Amazon. I will include a link in the text box. I wear a large size glove, so there you see how the handle fits a large size hand. True full tang, it's got G10 handle scales, it's got a partial hollow grind. The blade length is 3.94 inches, and the steel is 8CR13 MOV stainless, the same steel as on the Spyderco Tenacious. Alright, here's the sheath, it is a leather sheath, it has a leather belt loop as well. It holds it in very securely, it overlaps the handle to a significant degree, All right? and it has a dangler. Here is the sheath on the belt. All right, so that's an okay sheath, I would say. I mean, it holds it in, it does its job. All right, we are going to do a lot of different cutting tasks with this knife. First up, standard utility task, cutting some paracord. All right, I got some food coming up, so I hope you're hungry because uh, this is mainly, this knife is mainly for cutting into uh, animal matter. You know, it's a hunting knife now. I'm not a hunter myself, but I've certainly cut up many uh, ducks, turkeys, chickens, uh, ribs of all sorts, beef, pork, uh, in the kitchen. All right, so you can use it in the kitchen or at your camp kitchen. All right, it did well on the paracord. Pretty easy task, but that's just the warm-up. Another thing about this knife, the spine is sharp enough that you can use it as a striker on your fire steel. That's always useful. All right, the spine is also sharp enough that you can use it to uh, make bark scrapings and things like that. Now, when I was starting this fire, it was actually a little before dawn. All right, the camera adds a little bit of brightness so you can see. Uh, it was damp and it was actually raining a little bit. All right, but nonetheless, hey, what, what better time to have a fire than when you need to uh, kind of warm up, warm up and uh, dry off, right? So that's useful. You can use it as a striker. Of course, it helps that my fire steel, uh, it's one of the better fire steels there. All right, so how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well in these uh, tough and trying times. All right, here we are making a pointy stick, a tent stake or a shank for the yard. I did speed this footage up a little. And that piece of birch was really, was really weathered. It's kiln dried firewood, so it was dry and weathered. Uh, but nonetheless, we're, we're going to make our, our pointy stick. But, you know, this company, Martini of Finland, I'm very familiar with this company. Actually, later in the video for, uh, for size comparison, I'm going to show you my Martini collection. They make some excellent stuff, right? If you don't need a hunting knife, definitely check out the other Martinis because, first of all, this is their only knife of theirs that I have that has a hollow grind at all. All the others have... A Scandi grind, very well done Scandi grinds, right? Except for their fillet knife, which is a full flat grind, as you will see. All right, but this, it did well in making our pointy stick, our anti-vampire application. All right, now I'm going to make a notch just for. Well, you got to do something for you know your practice of bushcraft. Let's make a little notch. But yeah, Martini. They're right up there. As far as I'm concerned, Martini is right up there with Mora, right? You got Mora in Sweden. You've got Martini in Finland. And you've got a Hela in Norway. Those are some, those are some titans of, of this uh, category of knives, of cutlery. Yeah, pretty epic for your uh, bushcraft tasks and your camp tasks. And, oh, there's my notch. Pretty good. Right, so yeah, they make a lot of bushcraft knives, and they decided to make this hunting knife too. All right, so if you want to do some basic utility tasks with your hunting knife, we cut some cord, we made a stake, we made fire, we made a notch. You can also make some kindling sticks with this. It is a uh, true full tang. It can take a bit of abuse. Now, you know, I don't recommend going crazy with splitting, but if you had to just split a few little sticks or for whatever purpose, either fire or carving, it can do so. All right, okay, we got food coming up. I hope you're hungry. Yeah, we got duck. 
All right, so I'm cutting off little, basically boneless medallions of that that nice meaty part. We're making uh, basically boneless duck thighs. I love duck. I grew up with duck. A lot of my subscribers are duck hunters. You know how good that tastes. Now, these are actually farm-raised ducks. You can tell by the amount of fat on these. These were some happy, well-fed ducks, you know, until they uh, became dinner. All right, so I crisped up that skin in the pan, and then I cooked it through in the oven. That is some good stuff. Crispy duck skin. You know you love it. Now, if you want to get fancy, what you got to do is make like a bed of rice, right? And then put those little boneless medallions, kind of arrange them on the rice, and then uh, put some orange sauce. I believe that's what they do at the fancy Italian restaurant near me. All right, we got more food here. Ribs, yeah. Look how it goes through these ribs. Yeah, excellent. This is an excellent butcher knife. And I love ribs too. Oh man, the vegetarian's going to hate this part. I'm sorry guys, but yeah, I cut up those ribs and I did add some uh, shrimp and mushrooms as well. We got a little surf and turf action, okay? So you can cut up your ribs. You can cut up your duck, chicken, turkey. Those were very good, right? I had to, I had to lift a lot of weights before I was hungry enough to, uh, to eat that, I assure you. All right. And uh, I did cut up a lot of other things, but those were the two that I cut up on camera. But just know that I also cut up a bunch of uh, some beef and lamb with this knife off camera. And it is an excellent butcher's knife. You know, I'm going to use it in the kitchen or maybe at a campsite with some food I bring. You know, you don't have to be a hunter to find a use for this knife, but it can cut up animals in whatever situation. All right, sometimes people want to see the initial sharpness. This was before I did anything. Just listen. And there you go. It came pretty sharp. So good job, Martini. As you would expect, a hunting knife should come with a well-done edge, and it did. So as I was saying, I'm actually very familiar with Martini of Finland. They make excellent knives. I've owned uh, many of these uh, for years. I think I bought my first one, that Carbonox, uh, I think maybe 12 years ago. Right? They make some excellent stuff. So if you don't need a hunting knife, just check out the text description box underneath this video because I'm going to list uh, their current product line and you'll definitely find something you like. All right, from left to right down there, we have the Witch's Tooth, the Filet Knife, the Drop Point Hunter, the Bowie Hunting Knife, the Carbonox, the Timberjack, and the MFT. All right, so these all have Scandi Grind except for the MFT, which is partial hollow, and that Filet Knife is a full flat grind and semi-flexible. Yeah, the Timberjack is probably one of the best values. It's around $20 nowadays. This is the Carbonox, All right? That's uh, the first one I ever got. Yeah, Martini makes some good stuff. Really, like if you like Mora knives, I can almost guarantee you're gonna like Martini because a lot of them kind of the same idea. You know, in in Finland, uh, they have a very strong tradition of bushcraft and outdoor skills. Now, the nicest knife I have by this company is this one, the Witch's Tooth. Right, I got this many years ago. Now, the current model of the Witch's Tooth actually has a Bowie tip. And it's a lot more expensive these days than uh, when I bought it back in the day. But if you want the uh, current model of Witch's Tooth, I will include a link to it in the text description box. Right, it's, it's got the rattle to ward off the evil spirits if you need that. All right, final thoughts on this Martini MFT. Definitely a useful knife in the kitchen or at the campsite for a hunter or just a, anyone who has to uh, butcher game or cut up meat, right? Turkey, chicken, duck, ribs of all sorts, right? Uh, beef, lamb, pork. The steel on this is a pretty good choice for a budget-friendly uh, butcher knife or hunting knife because that 8CR13 MOV, as I said, it's the same steel that was uh, on the original Spyderco Tenacious. A lot of you have the Tenacious, and you know that, that that knife is very easy to resharpen. And similarly, if you had this as your hunting knife, you know, most hunters I know, after each usage of their hunting knife, of course, you got to clean it up, 
right? And while you're cleaning it, uh, they also touch it up after each use. So that steel is basically super easy to resharpen and put a uh, razor sharp edge on it anytime you need to. All right, so that's good for a budget of budget steel on for this usage. All right, and as we saw, you can also start a fire with this. You can carve a tent stake. You can notch a stick. You can cut some cordage to string up a tarp. So definitely a useful knife all around for a fairly reasonable price. The partial hollow grind is also a good choice for a hunting knife. You know, I actually grew up with deer hunters who had buck 110s and buck 119s, and those also both have partial hollow grinds, and most hunters I know prefer the partial hollow grind for their hunting knife. So that's all good. I like that it's a true full tang as well. It means it can take a little bit more abuse. It's a little uh, rougher and tougher and heavier uh, than some of my Mora's, for example. So yeah, great general purpose mid-sized outdoor knife, hunting knife, or butcher knife. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out all the martinis in the text description box. You'll definitely find something for you. If you've never had one before, I would start with the Timberjack. Very budget friendly, an excellent knife. All right, so check all those out and then one day get the witch's tooth because that thing is freaking beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.